You're watching The Sunday Show on ZPGNet, your source for personality-driven content. My name's J.P. Sivolf, and it's time for your week in review. Wait, that comes after the opening, doesn't it? It's The Sunday Show, and it's your week in review. Mondays was MMO Mondays as usual, and it went off without a hitch. And I'm glad to say that all of our copyright issues that have been cropping up here and there have been resolved. Uh, it took a lot of beating with a stick and some big giant letters, but we finally got it working. So now we don't have to worry about it, I hope. Tuesday was Some Fox Plays Some Games, and it was another random game. This one was Jamestown, The Lost Colony, a bullet hell shooter. I don't know how this works. Um, and I think because Steen is sitting next to me, I may have skipped past the part where I said, check the annotation and the links below. So, you know, for that last one, you're just going to want to rewind and check it. And then, then for this one, you're going to want to check right here for the annotation and check the links below for a Jamestown bullet hell where <laughs> you're on Mars in a colony called Jamestown, and for whatever reason, you're on the run from the law, so you jump in a spaceship and shoot Martians. Not even kidding. That's the premise. Click the link. You have to see it to believe it. Wednesday was another gorgeous Vulpes DM featuring our brand new recording process. You may have noticed that there's no Twitch content. It's because we don't like Twitch very much right now. It's just not working with us. It's not working right. Uh, it keeps just eating episodes, so we stopped using it. Which means this last episode was shot entirely on, uh, you know, uh, digital capture and then uh, spliced together and sent out. So you'll notice there's a lot more clearer audio. People don't sound like they're 10 feet underwater. Nothing starts, like, janking around. And there's a little bit of pixelation here and there, but that's more because of my laptop deciding that it's going to try and shit the bed briefly. But even that is, like hundredths of a second and you won't even notice unless you click the annotation or check the link below to go back and watch the video again. Thursday was a return to Fallout New Vegas where we went to Fallout New Vegas. Para Para Poseidon where we reactivated the uh, giant tower thingy, the solar tower and decided to route all the power to... Yeah, again, I have to watch the episode to find out. I keep looking. Steena's over here somewhere. And I'm not paying attention to you, so you stop looking. And she's not paying attention, so I should stop looking. Anyway, so para para Poseidon, you'll have to see it to know what we were talking about. Check the link or the annotation in the video. Friday is Some Fox Plays Some Minecraft! Episode number three in the Minecraft series, Farm Trek <laughs> Pumpkin Hunting. No, no, no. You gotta say it right. Pumpkin hunt. You know, I come up with these titles sometimes, and I really wonder what the hell goes through my head. Now, I, <laughs> I'm not entirely to blame, though. Krista came up with the first half. I did the second half. Um, so. Both of you are druggies. We're druggies. You're going to have to check the link and the annotation, one or the other, or both. Hey, click both. I love it if you click both. Um, and then, you know, just check out the latest episode in that series. And that, you know, that's, that's a fun one. Um,. Saturday was Deus Ex, I'm sorry, Deus JP, the Deus Ex Saga, episode number four. Did we do it? And by the time you're watching this, it'll actually have been released. Um, hopefully. There's still a small possibility it may not come out because I'm recording this, um, as all of you know, before it airs on Sunday. Stop looking at me, you fucking weirdo. I'm busy looking at luggage. She's looking at luggage. So anyway, uh, as many of you know, uh, this gets recorded before Sunday morning because I usually work on Sundays, so it has to go out in time uh, with rare exceptions. So by the time this comes out, it should have been released. If it doesn't get released, it means there was a major malfunction somewhere in the, uh, in the recording chain, and it just gets released another day. But this Saturday should have been <laughs> Teus X Episode 4. Um... I expect to see more of that. I, I really start getting into this game at that point. Um, you know, we, we finish up with what is essentially the tutorial mission, which apparently you can totally screw up if you don't do it fast enough. Thank goodness that the 
saves aren't timed like they are in certain PS4 games that I've heard of. <laughs> Metal Gear. Um, so, you know, all that. Check the link or the annotation to go view that video. And, of course, Sundays are the Sunday show. And you're watching that right now. So that's been your Week in Review. So this is the vlog. It goes in the middle. It always goes in the middle. I like it in the middle, and that's where it goes. Well, it's been a week. It's been a long week. A very exciting, very exhausting, very long week. Some of you may have noticed we're up to seven days' worth of content. It may not all come out on time, but there's at least six, seven videos every week. And, and it's wonderful to be back to that full schedule again. It makes me very happy. Now, part of that has come with a little bit of a cost. Um, you know, we don't do the Twitch stuff at all anymore. I just, I don't go to Twitch. I just don't. Um, I like going to Twitch to watch other people. But Twitch and I don't work well together because it, it's been eating all of our Xbox footage, which really just upsets me to no end. And it's been, you know, just not what I expected from it. You know, uh, the, the process by which one becomes a partner, which I will not lie to you, is part of why I do this. You know, it's, it's very complicated and convoluted. And there's this expectation that, you know, every word out of your mouth is going to be hilarious all the time or compelling. And the fact of the matter is, I mean... I watch people on Twitch and eight, nine, ten times out of ten almost. Like 9.5 times out of ten. It's them like biting their thumbnail and just staring at the screen and you hear the click, 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 click. And their eyes just move and that's it. I would like to do that. But no, it's not my job. But, you know, with YouTube, if there's dead air, you can cut it out. Or edit around it, or add a sound effect, or something. I I love you, darling. I'm looking at flights. Why are we looking at flights? I want to travel, damn it. That brings me to my next bit: travel videos. I'm gonna start trying to do more of them. Um, yas, yas. Yes. Um, we need to convince JP. I need to go to Japan next year. Okay. I'll tell you what. If you guys want to see more Japan videos. Convince me we need to go to Japan next year. You know how to convince me to go to Japan? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> you are not asking for money to go on vacation. Oh, no. That's lame as shit. Oh, no. That's not what I'm asking for. That is lame as That is shit. not what I'm asking for. What I'm asking for is for you to go out and tell your friends and your family and your friend's family and your family of friends to come watch ZPGNet. Because we get paid for these videos. We do. Not much, but we do. And if enough people watch, then I can take time off from work because I don't have to work as hard. And if I can take time off of work, I can make more videos. And if I can make more videos, I can make more views. And if I can make more views, eventually I make enough money that we can go to Japan! Lame as shit. Lame as shit. Seriously, though. You can convince me by sending an email to gmail.com. Uh, it's a ZPGNet at gmail.com and put it in the subject line Stina goes to Japan and then write a little explanation of why we have to send Stina myself to Japan um, yeah that seems fair mm. mm. alright um, golly what else goes in the vlog mm, usually I vent about something right about now what's to vent about mm -mm 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 -mm. apparently the prices on airfare went up um it's no secret to all of you that I work at a theme park. I still will not tell you which one. If you're paying attention, you already fucking know. How do I know this? Well, because you'd be looking at my social media, etc., and it's there. It's not like I make it a national secret. But for the sake of argument, I don't tell you. You can figure it out. Mm -hmm. And it's no secret that I work at a Ferris wheel because I've said it a million times. I work at a Ferris wheel, kind of like that. So the other day, I'm working at a Ferris wheel in an unnamed theme park and a lady comes up and cuts in line and you've all heard my rant before there's no reason to cut in line I have a million and one ways to help you reunite with your family you don't need to just butt your ass through the line well 
you told them a million times before, why are you telling us again? Because that's how it works. Oh. I'm going to go back to them. I don't know if I tell someone something a million times. I tell them new stories. <laughs> this is a new story because it hasn't happened yet. Fine. Yeah, I'm, t I'm in the middle of telling it. Well, tell it then. All right, then. I will. Well, then. God. <laughs> so this lady butts her way through line. And... I'm in a particularly good mood. I mean, at this point, sure. all smiles. I'm happy. I even go so far as to do the one thing that I tell all of my coworkers, don't do this thing. I let it go. I go over and I say, please, in the future, don't cut in line. That's it. Nope. No, no, none of the usual, you have to go back to the end of the line or the end of the line's over there behind the guy in the whatever color shirt. Uh... I don't even do the whole, if you were to stay here, I would have to call security and that would be really unhappy. So maybe you want to go back to the end of the line or anything like that. I don't even look at the phone. I just let it go. I was like, hey, please don't do that. Okay, bye. And I go right back to doing what I'm doing, which is making a Ferris will go. That was it. At least that's what I thought. And then they get to the front of the line and the woman in question gets right up in my face and proceeds to question in very poor English, which should have been my first clue, uh, that why is this a problem? My daughter makes lines. Okay. I don't care if your daughter's an artist. All I care about is whether or not you cut in line. You did. I told you don't do it again. And that should be enough. I mean, there's, you know, big policy posted about it. And, you know, I'm trying to help you out here. Just don't do it because then these people get mad and bad things happen. And the lady's like, but I, my daughter makes lines. I'm like, okay, yeah, no, you said that. And I understand that you think that it's okay for someone else to stand in line and then for you to cut in front of all those people. It's not. Don't do it again. And at this point, I'm still in a pretty good mood. I'm just like, hey, you know, don't do it again. I'm not asking for a miracle. I'm asking for you to obey the regulations that are posted everywhere. You know? I'm not even doing the whole, like, secret menu thing where I'm all like, look, if you do the thing, then I can do the thing. No, it's just chill. It's all good. No worries. Just don't do it again, man. That, that kind of thing. That's not good enough for this lady. She starts screaming at the top of her lungs. Now, I don't speak a lick of Spanish. I understand enough to get by. Like, if you ask me a question, I'll give you a dumb look for a hot second, then I'll be like, oh, I know what you said, and then I'll try to answer you. Unfortunately, I don't speak any Spanish, so I'm going to answer you in English. This lady is screaming stuff that I won't even repeat on the channel, and y'all have heard me curse. At which point I look around and I notice that nobody in line has any clue what she's saying. So I'm still trying to be the good guy here. Just like, oh, you know what? Let her curse. Nobody knows what she's saying. I don't care. She can call me all those names, including that one that I've never heard before, but I know it's not good. That kind of thing. Yeah, go for it. That's fine. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, inside it's eating me alive, but I mean, I'm having a good day, so I'm not like trying to ruin it. Just listening to you. Okay, go ahead. Wow. Is that what you guys think? Well, I don't understand why anyone would want to listen to you bitch about work. Because it's a good story. Okay. Tell you what. It if, remains to be seen. Go ahead and continue. If you think this is a good story, comment below. If you think it's a bad story, I don't care. Comment below. Let me know. Because if enough people tell me these stories suck, I won't tell them anymore. I'll comment below. Yeah, you go ahead. You comment below. You comment all the times you want. I will. Yeah, you comment. You can come do this if you want. I don't want to do your stupid show. It's fun. Anyway. I'm sitting over here playing Sailor Moon games. Sailor Moon! You know there's an app that lets you record that and put it on the channel. Nope. <laughs> anyway. So, she keeps going at it, and eventually, you know, my good mood just dies. I'm like, you know what? Fine. And you can see it on my face. The smile just goes, Wah. 
And I'm like, okay, look, I've told you, I don't know how many times, I'm going to let you go on the ride, even though you cut in front of everyone else. All you have to do is not discuss this anymore. Because you've already admitted that you broke the rules in front of all the people you cut in front of and that you don't care at all. All I want to do is put you on the ride and go about my day. But if you keep this up, I have to call security because now they look uncomfortable. And this is the point where, like, the whole line is full of people who are just, like, looking at each other like, oh, my God, what is this going on here? And, you know, that makes me unhappy. And that's why my face has fallen and why I'm being dead bloody serious. So the lady responds with, yeah, call your managers. Call your supervisors. And I said, no, security. Those are the people who come to deal with line jumpers. Security makes the decision whether or not you call a manager or a supervisor, etc. A security determines whether or not you even get to ride. That's why they're security. They handle it so that we don't have to. Fine. Call everyone then. Okay, fine. You asked me to call security, so now I have to. That's the policy. So I do. Now the crux of the matter. This lady has gone through all of this to prove, I'm not sure what point, because she was still going to get what she wanted, which was to cut in front of everyone and go on the line, I'm sorry, on the ride, with this lady that I guess was her daughter and some random kid that showed up later. I wasn't even going to address the kid. But once I call security, you have to, like, wait and talk to security so that security can do security job. Yeah? Follow? Good. So I start taking people from behind her in line because now I have to wait for security. And she starts screaming about how we're not letting her on. And I told you. I tell her to her face yet again. I don't have a choice now. You wanted to speak to security. They're on their way. You can't get on the ride until you talk to security, at which point they will make all of this better. That's their job. They will figure out what is where and who is what, and then it'll all be good. I already know in the back of my head, security's going to come up. They're going to go, what happened? I'm going to tell them. And they're going to go, eh, just let her ride. And I'm going to go, okay. Because that's what I was going to do anyway. That's not good enough. And the reason I tell the story, the lady shoves me hard and tries to open the entrance gate to the ride. Succeeds in opening the gate, at which point, even though I've been shoved, I move my big fat butt right in front of that gate and it bounces off my gut and my jimmy jongers. That hurt. But even though it hurt, I did not move because as much as I don't like this woman, I cannot in good conscience let her walk into a ride area and get hit by a giant Ferris wheel that's spinning around. After that, she screams in my face a couple of more obscenities. Her, I guess, daughter joins in on it. This one in English, so I have to tell her to watch her language because there's little kids present. And lo and behold, in the back of the line, from the very, very back, I hear, Fuck you! <laughs> she said fuck! So, you know, naturally, now I'm just, ugh. They leave. I call security and tell them what happened. And they say, well, if we see them, we'll get rid of them. Because you can't run into a ride area. I don't necessarily care about the rest of that story. The rest of that story is literally just backstory to explain... What must have gone through her head, I don't get it myself, but I'm sure somebody out there does. Why she thought it was a good idea to shove open a gate, lay hands on an operator, and try to run into a ride that's moving. 
whatever it is that you do in a theme park, all of you happy people who watch this show and enjoy these stories, please, for the love of whatever you deem holy, don't open the ride door. I don't even care if you try to take a swing in an operator or whatever. Because to be honest, you get what you deserve at that point. But there's nothing that chills the blood worse than having someone attempt suicide in front of you and have no fucking clue that they're doing it. I didn't feel right the rest of the day at all. And I went so far as to bury it as far down as I could so I could try to enjoy what was left of my day. And this was in the last, like, hour before I got to go home and relax. So, you know, don't be that guy or girl and try to, like, bum rush a theme park ride because all it does is just get you thrown out of the park assuming you stick around long enough to see what happens. And if you manage to actually get into the ride, you're going to get hurt. I mean, just look it up. There's hundreds of thousands of stories about guys who got their ki heads kicked off their shoulders like fucking beach balls because they got into a ride area and it went by and somebody had their leg out to the side and knocked their head off. That's why I tell that story. I still don't know why you told it. I, I just told you. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't listening. Much like the people who watch your show. <laughs> you're horrible. Yeah, I am. I, I love you, but you're horrible. Mm -hmm. This was yesterday, by the way. Yeah. So, there's that. Other than that, you know what? It's been a really great week. I'm really glad that we got all this content out to you guys. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying. Um, I would like to do a reading your comments episode in the near future, so I'm going to need a lot of comments. And I would really prefer not to read the same three comments over and over again, which consists of lol, great video, watch one of mine, sub, bye. I, <laughs> I'll watch your videos. You don't have to ask me to. I've got a lot of work to do all the time, but when I have free time and I'm not recording, the one thing I love to do more than anything else is just to veg out and watch YouTube videos. So if you have good content, I'm already watching. And if you don't have good content... Hey, man, I don't know what to tell you. It's not my cup of tea, but somebody's got to be watching it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be putting it out there. And now you can tell who's not watching because they're still going to come in and say, Oh, my God, I watch my video. Yeah, that doesn't bother me either because you know what? They had to come to the uh, the website to uh, leave the comment, which means I got that view anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of those comments just get deleted. Those comments don't bug you, do they? No. Oh, okay, good. It's most of... Huh? Nothing bothers me. No? Hmm. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Except you telling bad stuff. <laughs> I promised you guys last week I would show you. This is this is it right here. This is the, the, the dumb razor. Here, let me get that. Easy home razor. It comes with a little cover and this thing. Whatever this thing is. Seriously? Yeah. Somebody asked me about it at really? work. They asked me at work, so I said um, I'd put it in the Sunday show. Yeah. It's really nice. It works really great. It's got a great battery life. It cost me like 15 bucks. It was on sale. I think it started at, what, 25 maybe? I don't know. It wasn't much. But that's how I get this nice, all this. Um, and the best part is I can do it sitting in my chair watching YouTube. I don't have to be in the bathroom <laughs> like that, which is really cool. Um, and... For the one person who asked, yeah, it's getting better. The um, the horrible burn slash bug bite, whatever the hell this is, it's going away. It just hurt a lot. <laughs> You're not allowed to be here for these anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I don't get it. It's a vlog. You talk about things. Okay, what do you want me to talk about? I don't know. Okay, what I'm do you... I'm not sure as what hell would go on the thing and tell them about my work day. Well, your work day consists of what? Answering the telephone and people asking incredibly stupid questions. You know what would be great? No, I really don't. Oh, I would I would love this. Could no, you... No, it would be a hoot. 
Yeah, yeah, you know what would be a hoot? Could you, in your infinite wisdom, compile a list of like the ten dumbest questions that you've ever gotten at your job working for blank? Am I allowed to do that? Yes. Sure kind of no, 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 no. You, you can because we're gonna take out the important part, like the place, and the thing, and replace it with things that are more generic, like when I talk about where I work, because. The Ferris wheel has a name, and it is very long, but all I do is call it the Ferris wheel. And if you have any comments you want me to read, make sure you put them down below, or you can just send them to the email at zpgnet at gmail.com, and I will read those. Um, send them to her, and I'll ask her to read them, and she will give me that look, and I will read them myself. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, that's pretty much it for the vlog. Thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and move on to your week. No, wait. No, your coming attractions. Because I can't remember the format for my own show because I'm a genius. Didn't you always do coming attractions? Way to ruin the magic. I don't shoot this in order. Oh, well, you didn't tell me that. I told you that before. I'm you all like... You didn't shoot it all at once. Yeah, I've done like a bunch of different ones. There's like 10 files in this folder. See? Tell me that. Oh, I did. No, you told me you didn't do it in order. You didn't tell me. Wait, no. You, didn't, <laughs> you know what? Fuck <laughs> Suck a dick. I'm out. Oh, the coming attractions. It's time for your coming attractions here on ZPGNet, your source for personality-driven content. Mondays are MMO Mondays, as always. Make sure you come and swing by to watch us have yet another char-related nonsensical adventure. Because that's literally all I do. Tuesdays are some Fox plays some random games, and as always, I have no idea what Krista is playing until Krista tells me, usually about mm, five minutes before the the episode is um, going to be compiled, and I have to scramble to make a thumbnail, so keep that up, because I like working under the gun. Check that out on Tuesday afternoons. Wednesday is another gorgeous day. It's a Volpez Diem. Make sure you seize the day with the fox, and check out Fallout 4, Far Harbor. I don't know the name of that episode, but I'm sure it's a good one. Lies, lies, and slander. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday is a return to Crush, 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 Crush. It is a clicker game, so that means that my fingers are going to be numb by the time you watch this episode of Crush, Crush. So keep it tuned here on Thursday. Friday is some fox plays some more Minecraft. Again, I don't know the name of the title. She gives them to me like literally the night before and I make the thumbnails and that's that so I have no idea but I do know this if you saw the end of the last episode you're gonna ow you're gonna enjoy the beginning of the next one and of course Saturday Deus Ex episode 5 this is where we start getting into like some side quests and stuff it's gonna be loads of fun and you need to keep it tuned here to ZPG net your source for personality driven content So that was your week in review, and now it's time to end the episode, so I'd like to remind you all to like, comment, and subscribe, and keep it tuned here to ZPGNet, your source for personality-driven content. On behalf of Stina Bulpus Oculus, Krista, the editor Fox, and myself, I hope you had a great week, and stay here for more great content on ZPGNet. See you next time. Bye now!